you know, saying the fulfillment of this age, of this world age. We're living in world ages, and this world age is coming to a fulfillment. And how do we say so? Because the heavenly clock, which they are not able to do anything about, they can't do anything. That's why they have bright lights to keep you um, distracted, you understand, and talk about what's going on and keep you in this uh, ring around the rosy holiday, holiday season so that you never really get to recognize how late the hour is and repent before it's too late to receive the half of the story concerning the King of Kings and his Christ before it's too late. And just remember these words here from Yeshua HaMoshiach and in Matthew, Mateos, Caduce, Mateos, when the girl, uh, Caduce, he was a Caduce too. It's not who the Pope makes is Caduce. It is who receives the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit makes one Caduce. And there's a testimony in their life. It says here, In Gadi, he do na ahzabin hulu, bea, be woladina, be menfes a Caduce a sim, iat emek a chihuacho. Yazeza huacho hunim o hulu in di at abuku, Iasa tamara chihuacho, dek amazamorit adorguacho, in a home, in a iska alem fits ame the rest hulgize, kanante garning. Go ye therefore, teach all nations, teach all the goyim, teach all the Gentiles. You understand both to the Jews, the black Hebrews, and the Gentiles, baptizing them in the name of of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the triune God, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I, the I there is Adonai, Adonenu Yeshua HaMoshiach, have commanded you that whatever he has commanded us in the Wengel, in the, in the gospel, in the word, right? That's what we are to teach them to observe those things. And lo, look and see, I am with you always. So he's always with us. We're not looking for him to re return or to come back in that Gentile misunderstanding. But we're looking for his unveiling. Right? And when his unveiling, the heavens, the earth, all the mountains flee. Think about that. I am with you always, but he's with us. So we have been delivered and rescued from that wrath. If we remain in him and him in us, even to the end of the Alam. Even to the end of this particular world age, which uh, according to much that we have studied would be the third, it would be considered to be the, no, no, second world age. We're going into the third world. Ain't that something? We're going into the third world. And they've been fighting against the third world. You know what I'm saying? That's why they try to make you believe the new world order is coming. But actually, the true New World Order is Yeshua's New World Order, the Moshiach's New World Order. It's not their New World Order. And, and Christianoch and true Christians out there need to start preaching that and stop talking like the, like the, the, the heathen do, the, spiritual, um, the spiritually deceived do. You understand? In other words, because you are talking your faith, if, you know, saying you have faith in Yeshua, you're born again, all this, and you're talking like the devil has everything all wrapped up. He doesn't. You understand it's very clear. So you have to, you know, word, sound, and power is very, very important. You understand, um, as it says in the scriptures, and we, we, we might sum up right here from where we were um, previously in the earlier part of, um, oh, life and, what's his life and death, or death and life. It says right here, Proverbs 18.21, it says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. But if you check out that word power of the tongue, you're going to find something very, very interesting right here. And, and I would like you to look at the word program or go to the Blue Letter Bible online and then look at the key words there. If you look at um, and in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, the word power means yod, is in the yod. Right? Yad. Yad is is what is known as the 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 open hand. The open hand indicates power, chayil or dudamus, means direction, etc. In distinction from the thirty seven zero seven. Right? Well, what's the thirty seven zero seven pray tell? You understand? Know well let's click on it. Let's find out what this word means right here. That's kaf. The kaf. Right, the cut, the cut, the fidel cut, 
right? The calf is open hand. The calf is open hand, all right? And the yod is closed hand, right? The calf, or also right hand too, closed right hand. Life and life, or death and life, right? Are in the, are in the power, right? The yod of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You know what I'm saying? So if you love death, right, then you speak to death, right? You speak to death according to the power of the yod, right? The yod is used in a great variety of applications, both literally and figuratively. Both proximate, that means nearby and remote, right? And when you look at the uses in the King James, it's just too numerous to go into all the detail here, but definitely look it up. You know what I'm saying? Look it up for yourself. Now when we look it up in the Amharic, what's interesting, right? When we look it up in the Amharic, let's go to 1821. We wanted to teach on word, sound, and power. This is where um, word, sound, and power, uh, a good teaching on it would, would begin. 18 and, um, 18 and 21 of uh, Metzhafe Misale or Mishle in the, in, the, in the Masoretic Hebrew, but in the Ethiopic we can tell, well, that's a correct translation right there from the Masora. It says, Motana hiwet be melas ij nacho. Ye miya wede do atim fere wan ye belalu. Ye belalu. Ye belalu. Right? Ye belalu, ye belalu. Ye belalu. Ye belalu. Right? The proper get him. Ye belalu. Frewan ye belalu, ye mia wede duatim frewan ye belalu. Those who love her, mm, interesting. Those who love her, you over saying I added detail and a nuance right there. Now when you look into the mishtir that Moses was learned in, and also Solomon or Solomon, he was over that order, that order of the wise men of his time. So this is why one will say, well, the words was amenomope. Well, this is the, the wisdom of the ancients. It's passed on to the ancients, to those who can receive it. And, 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 and Nagush uh, Solomon, he was one of the recipients of this. This is why his name is on this book. It's not like a lot of the people out there in the counterfeitery, you understand, be saying, he stole it, he stole it. Even a lot of the half eccentrics or the so called Afrocentrics, they follow after this because they're not doing due diligence getting to the root and to the truth. So we have the word ij or id, right, which is another way of saying yid or yad, right, the yid, the yad, the yod, the yid, right. So life and death or death and life is in the power of the tongue. So if we love life in Yeshua HaMoshiach, then we speak life, we speak according to his word. But if we do not love life, right, we speak according to death, and that's, that bring that on you. I mean, a lot of, you know, we could get into a whole teaching on this right here, but it's necessary for one to become familiar with that. Because while you should be in the blessing, and you say you receive Yeshua, the blessing doesn't seem to manifest because you keep pushing it away with your, your inordinate and even indecent use of word. And we're saying not indecent and just saying curse word or bad word or whatever. No, we're saying saying things like, oh, this is killing me. You understand? And I mean, you're saying that this is killing you. Mm-hmm. So suppose it does kill you. You understand? You called it on yourself. So you own it because it's in the power. Ancient Egypt shows that, that hand, that open hand, right? That right hand. You understand? It's in the power right it's in the power of the tongue you know what I'm saying so the tongue is in the hand of the tongue so look at that so if we speak death then it's like our words hand it over hand that hand that over we we seize that that brings a whole new um level and area because we basically are already not not finished on the 7505 you know what I'm saying but this is kind of um, um kind of a part 2 right here and 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 the spirit is 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 guiding me to the area where it says um um when it says reach out their hand to iniquity unless the righteous reach out their hand to iniquity and we're thinking about psalms 
You remember Psalms where it says, unless the righteous, right? Now, if the righteous reach out their hand to um, iniquity, where it says in Psalm 125 and 3, the rod of the wicked, the rod of the wicked, the evildoers shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, upon that which is allotted to the righteous, the Sadiqan. So in Yeshua HaMoshiach, we are righteous. We are the righteousness of God in the Moshiach, in Christos, in the anointed. But less, unless the righteous, they're, they're still righteous because Yeshua is righteous. It says if, if we are unfaithful, we deny him. He remains faithful because he cannot deny himself. But if the Sadiqan, if we as the Sadiqan who admit in Yeshua, put forth, what it says, their hands to iniquity. Remember in the power of the tongue, death and life are in the hand of the tongue. Now it says put forth their what? Their hands. And when you, when you look at the Hebrew, it's the same H3027. The same Hebrew right there. It's the same Hebrew core key word. Right, and this is why this is so very, um, this is so very interesting when we look at this particular psalm right here, because it, in Christ, in Yeshua HaMoshiach, right, seeing it in Christ, a song of degrees, they that trust, the active word for um, the active word for faith or take refuge. Some say it means to lean upon. Is 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 uh, but be Ibrahist is uh. Um, um, betach, 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 right? Or batak, right? Betach, bet, uh, really betach, but, uh, more of a ch than a k. Uh, betach, because it's chet, closed, right? Is to, to, um, for refuge, to lean upon for refuge, to trust, to be sure, to be, to be, to be, to be confident in Yahweh shall be as Mount what? Sion, Mount Zion, right? Which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. As the mountains round about Jerusalem, so Yahweh, he will be who he be, his divine majesty, is round about his people from henceforth, even forever. The rod of the wicked, right? The rod of the wicked, the rod of the, the Resha, the Resha, the Resha are those who are wrong, especially morally wrong, shall not rest, right? Shall not nuach, they shall not nuach, shall not find a Noah, right? Upon the lot, right? The lot or the goral, the goral or the gewaral, the gewaral, right? The pebble, a lot, the portion, it's like the dice. You understand? On what is your portion? In a sense, it's very interesting when we get into the the real Hebraic of the Sadiq, of the Sadiq, least the Sadiq, right? The Sadiq or the Sidiq, the Sadiq, right? Least they put forth, least they shalach, they shalach, they send away, they send out, they send out for in a great variety of application. Their yad. Notice that uh, death and life is in the yad, the power, their power. Right and and the key word is the key word is word is their word to iniquity, to and you know what iniquity is in the Hebrew, right? This is interesting. Iniquity in the Hebrew is a evil. It's called evil, evil or ewal, the ewal or the ol. If you look at it, the ol, the gul, the gaul. It's the gaul in the Stargate, you know, on that level. But it's but in the Hebrew or the, or the modern spoken Hebrew, it is the evil, the evil, 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 the evil, the evil, the evil, the evil, right? The evil. Isn't this interesting? The evil or the avel, the avel, the avel, the ola, right? The ola, right? And it actually means evil. So the word evil is actually evil in the Hebrew. So iniquity, we, we call it ametza, which is rebellion. You understand? But now in the Hebrew, right, in the Hebrew it's called the evil, right, which, which actually would link more with um, um, Moses' teaching out of Egypt, if you understand that. Because Kamo or Hamo or Afro-Shemitic, 
right? That's where we find these key um, Shemitic words in Ethiopic and in Hebrew and in, and, in, and in the Amharic as well as we'll find. But sometimes it's a different combination of words or a choice of words. It depends on, you know, the people or the tribe even. Even as we use words today, Yovis, it says, do good, Abitu. Do good, Adonai. Do good. You understand? He is the one who do good, like we say the Ayabingi drum, do good. Do good. The heartbeat, do good. Abitu. To those that be good. And to them that are upright, right? That are upright. That are Yasha, 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 straight. You understand? In the net, straightforward. Right in their hearts, in their in their liba or libona, in their consciousness. As for such as turn aside to their crooked ways, and in Bingi we would chant this: their crook-hearted ways. Yahweh Ja Rastafari shall do what? Shall lead them forth with the workers, right of iniquity. It's almost like they're going to be magnetized, though they know better, to do wrong. You understand? They're going to be going along with the workers. And you know what the word workers in the, in the Hebrew is pa'al, the pa'al, the pile. They should be palsy wowsy to do, to make systemic, systematically or habitually, according to the system of things, the workers, according to the system. So when we talk about work, sera, sera, systematically or habitually, especially to practice. You understand? So it's not saying like if you've done something wrong and you repent of it, but that's different than those who make it. They are palsy wowsy. They are pa'al. They are pa'al with the, this one according to the system. Well, what can you do about it? That's the system. You understand? Or habitually, like, like they got a habit to do evil. They got a bad evil habit to practice. They are in a the practice. They perfect evil, right? The workers of iniquity, of aven. Now, use a different word, aven, here in, the, in verse 5. Right? It uses it uses Evan or Avin. Avin or Awen. Awen. Right? Awen. Evan. Evan is nothingness. Nothingness. The iron soft. The iron soft. Nothingness. Trouble. Vanity. Wickedness. Specifically, it's an idol. Right? An idol. So they will be a part of a system of idolatry. They'll be part of a system of idolatry. You not see it? But but for I and I it says peace. Right? It says shalom. Right? It says it says peace. Let's get this right here. It says peace or shalom, salam, safety, wellness, happiness, friendliness. Abstractly, it's our welfare. You see, when Babylon offers uh, the lost sheep of welfare, it takes them away from shalom, and there's no more shalom in the home. Right? When we turn to the King of Kings, Abba, in Yeshua HaMoshiach, to his gospel, his good news, the testimony of Jesus Christus, then we are really safe. Then we're well, we're dechna. Inya dechnanen. Right? We're well, we're happy. Destanen. We're friendly. We're dajinet. Bizu tebazu. We have welfare, not fear well. You understand? And that welfare in the Hebrew sense, shalom, is welfare in the Hebrew sense, which refers to health. Right? It refers to prosperity both in our spirit, soul, and our body, and our material finances, wealth, you understand? But first is health, right? And that is the real peace, you understand? So it says, but peace be upon Israel, right? But peace be upon the Israel of the King of Kings and his Christ. And Israel means he will rule as God. He will rule as God. That's what Israel means. Or really, he will work as God. Isra, 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 Isra El, Isra Chayel, Isra Chayel, Isra Chayel. Right in the work or Isra Chayel, Isra Chayel in the work of right God in the work of the true power, the true source. They say it's a symbolical name of Yaiko, right? And prophetically, we black Jack, they don't know Jack because they don't know that Israel is black. They don't recognize that. So we are that blackjack in this whole equation. You know what I'm saying? We are that blackjack right there. But typically, uh, typically, right, um, typically, it's of his prosperity. 
concerning we as a prosperity of the man Israel, because it says that he saw angels what ascending and descending, right? Angels ascending and descending. Overstand that right there. Angels, and we have to overstand that there are ministering angels that we have when we are sons and daughters. When we come in through that stargate, the gateway of Yeshua HaMoshiach, the door, and we allow him in and his word in. But we have to be in discipline not to use words that basically disavow what we claim that we claim. You know what I'm saying? So the use of word is, is especially um, relevant here is especially important and that's why we're touching on this particular psalm right here psalm 125 as it matches and goes along with um um proverbs right proverbs um proverbs chapter 18 at verse 21 18 and 21 where it says that death and life are in the power of the tongue or in the hand of the tongue and then another scripture you can go to in your study time in your mata timharit you know, your homework is check out um 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 james james in the new testament um is a very beautiful because this is the foundation the groundation but james or yaik o melikut in the new testament he talks on this as well and he talks about the word right he says in verse 2 of um, Yohannes Melikit of, 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 of chapter 3, verse 2, it says, Hulachin bebizu negar in a senakalalin na bekala yemai senakal manim binor arusua sagawin hulu degmo ligeta yemichila fitsum so no. It says, For in many things we offend all. Right, in many things, all we offend or all we cause to stumble. If any man offend not in word, if any man, male or female, we're speaking generically here, if any man, right, offends not in word, notice the word, sound, and power, right? The same is a what? A, 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 a who? A perfect man. The same is a perfect man. It says, Fitzum so perfect man the devil try to tell you nothing is perfect but then he's always selling you something and say hey this is perfect and you go for it foolish right but if you are able not to offend in word the same is a perfect man and able also to bridle the whole body and it's not talking about the akal the hypostatical body which one can say is more like the redemption of the spiritual body, but it's saying the physical body. It says, Arsua Shigawin Hulu Degmo Ligeta Yemichil. He is able to as Hulun Chai Amlak, Hulun Yemichil Amlak, Fitzum Sona. Right? So and then it goes on to talk about how we put bits into the horse's mouth, right, in the natural, that they may obey us and we turn about their whole body. You, right? Behold also the ships, the, the Merkaboch, right? Which though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds. Now some say the Merkab is, is really something different. We say in the Ethiopic is ships, but, but it's also speaking of those ships too. Because others say the Merkab, Merkaba is like the box or the square and, you know, in other le levels of, um, you know, spiritual discipline, but we have to first go to our own root and truth and see how, how now others had had reinterpreted the basic core from the Ethiopic. So, but they, but even the Merkaba, you know, or Merkaboch, the ships on, on a more spiritual, extra, extraterrestrial level, is true, and they are driven of fierce winds, solar winds, even, right? But we're talking about the ships on the waters right here, and they are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm with a very small helm whithersoever the governor a governor the governor listeth whithersoever ever the governor listeth the merry the 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 shipmaster so it says degmo yihin yahil talak bihonu be aulo nefasima bi nedu ye merry fekad what a Mia wedo sifra ijigatanash behone mek a zef mek a zefia yimeralu yimeralu 
right? This is interesting here because now notice what it's gonna say in verse five. Kuter, uh, kuter, um, um, hamis, hamis, it says, and he whom undebit degmo tinisha uh, built, right? Tinish built, amen. Tinish built a hono betalalak a negari mekal in the whole tinish isat. Indeed, yalla tilik a chaka, a chaka. It says, even so, the tongue is a little member. Notice it's coming forward again to the tongue. The tongue is a little member. And it boasts of great things. I can do this, and you don't know me, man. You don't know where. Right? It boasts of many big, big, great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. Right? So it says, and the tongue is a fire. Andebitim is satano. The andebit is it's a fire, a world of iniquity. Andebit be bilato chachin mekakel ametenya alem honoal. So the tongue, right, is a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, among all the other members. The bilato chachin among all the other members of our body, that it defileth the whole body. Shigan hulu yasa defalina. It defiles the whole flesh body. So the majority of all these crazy sicknesses is because of the irreverent use of word. And one's cursing themselves or keeping themselves in the cursed state by how they talk. They say, I can say what I want to say. Ah. And then they're defiling their whole body and wonder why they're getting this sickness. Mm -hmm. And setteth on fire the course of nature. And it is set on fire of hell. Right? And it's interesting because it goes on to say that every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed. Everything can be tamed. Everything has been tamed. Right? And hath been tamed of mankind. Mm-hmm. Mankind has tamed all types of bigger creatures, wilder creatures, stronger creatures than, than man, physically speaking, right? But, Negergin and Debetin Ligera Manim saw Aichilim. But no tongue, but the tongue, no, but the tongue can no man tame. You could have tied But the tongue can no man tame. In other words, from man's perspective, from a, uh, you know, when people talk about uh, motivational speaking, so forth and so on. Uh, there's a lot of good things to be offered in a lot of that, but overstand who has all authority. You understand? And Yeshua HaMoshiach. So in Yeshua and through the Spirit of the Father and through the growth, the repentance and the rebirth, yes, we can. He understand? But without that, no, you cannot. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of what deadly poison? What the tongue? Ye mi gedel mers ye mola bet walawai kafatno walawai. You understand? It is full of deadly poison. That's why it goes on and says, "Therewith bless we God, we bless Jah, right? Even the Father, but arusu with the tongue agitana." Abin in Barkalin, and therewith curse we men. But Arusum, and with it the tongue in the Geziavir Misale, yet a fet a rutin a sawocha in a reg in the regmalin. It says, and therewith curse we men, which are made, notice this, they are made after the similitude of a Geziavir of the sustainer of the Father. No, no such confusion. So who has thrown this this envy and this evil? Sounds like Satan. Um says the Ka'and off from one mouth. Barraketina Murgem Yewetalu. Wonder more choi. In and deal hon I gabam. It says out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren. Wonder more chehoi. You understand, my brethren. These things ought not so to be. Minchis, kaandaf yemiyat afitinna 
የሚያ ማርን ወኻ ያመነ ቻለን it says a doth a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter when the moche hoy bells belles why ran away so hoyna bellesin le tafra tichlalechin can the fig tree my brethren be a olive berries kachowa wkhama tafacho wkha aywata either a vine fix so can no fountain notice is the idea of water right can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh something to think about right that's why it says in the kuta asara sauce or shost verse 13 of uh of James um yeah Yaqob uh, Malakit uh, chapter 3 it says kanante tibabanyana astwai mano bemalkama na wawaru sarawina betibaba yawahinata yasai who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you let him make him shoe out of a good what is it a good conversation anwawaru anwawar right on but here in the in the show when anwawaru right out of a good conversation a good liberty right shoe his works with meekness of wisdom verse 14 kutarasara arat negergen merara kin atna ad minyanet bel bachu abi anor bachu atmeku be unetim lai atwashu atwashu but if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts glory not don't glory don't glory no no atmeku don't glory don't boast that in your hearts you know so hard is what the heart is right and lie not against the truth but unetim lai atwashu right and lie not against the truth they've been trying to lie against the truth but don't lie against the truth let's let's, let's wrap this up right here right because this is very interesting all the areas in scriptures go over these areas go go read the greater context of it yovas and pray for wisdom check this verse 15 asara miss it says yeh tibab kalai mi warid mi warid ay del negar gin ye midarno yes gamno ya ganintim no this wisdom descendeth get this this kind of so there's two kind of wisdoms we're going to learn right here when we speak about word sound and power there's a wisdom from above and there's one from below but here it is saying in the met of kedus of negus and the guest in his majesty's bible this is in the parallel um king james and 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 the king of kings side by side here that we're studying from it says uh yihtibab the tibab that it spoke about the lying stuff and you know the that that it is not from above kalay mi word idel negergen ye midrno ye midrno in other words it is of the the earth it's earthly ye shigamno ye sigamno it is fleshy right it is carnal ye aganintimno it is demonic it says devilish in, in the king james but really it is demonic overstand it is demonic now we've been studying the part 2 of the rastafari bereshit and we didn't fully edit it just yet one's probably have seen part 1 for the rss number 1 part 2 is touching on the cane and abel and it kind of touches on the backdrop a little bit of that of how there was this 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 um wisdom that was not um from above but it was from below right it was from below it says in atna ad menyanet um balu bet sifra beziya hu katna kufu sarahulu aluna it says for where envying and strife is wherever we find that it's envy you know these are supposed to be the same thing but this one envy that one and there's a lot of strife there 
You we don't have to be a scientist and to know rocket stuff. I mean, just to be in the book and the book be in I nine spirit and in truth should point out to us a warning, warning, uh, 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 you know what I mean? That should come up because it's that where for where envying and strife is, there's confusion and every what evil work. There's huket and there's kufu serahulu, all kinds of stuff. You know, people are like, oh, you know, you want to know what the late? No, I want to learn about the latest evil. I know there's all kinds of it. You know, if you try to keep a tally of it, it's just like, you know, it's just, it's just, it's, it takes, it, it, it interrupts the peace. You don't want anything to take your mind and, and your focus off of Yeshua and spirit and in truth. It's enough that, boom, there it is. Verse 16 says that wherever envy and strife is, he obviously said that he will, he will look at us and you, we can look at ourselves and see that wherever there's that love among ones and ones in spirit and in truth, that means that's his true church. He overs, and that tells you a lot about a lot of these um, churches and stuff on a certain level. Although many of them are just unconsciously hoodwinked and bamboozled and just don't know what they just don't know. But check this. So that's one kind of wisdom that comes up from below. It's earthly. Right? Now, what does it say right here? Last two verses, verse 17 and 18. It says, not. Um, it says, It says, not. But now notice the difference in, from the Ethiopic. The first one was male, the second is female. Overstand that. The second is female. The one says, But the wisdom that is from above. Right? Gin. However, right, is first or in the beginning. Not. It's pure. Right, Bechalam, and after the first needs a purity, and after that, Taraki is peaceable. It is willing to um, be reconcilable, is, is reconcilable, right? Um, and that's the Wengil, the gospel of grace. That's the, that's the reconciliation. Be reconciled to, to Ha Elohim before it's too late, to Abba, to the true Father and the Creator. Be reconciled. It's Gar. Gar is gentle. Right, like the Gar Radamas, the Gar Adamas. One of the Gnostics speak about that, which is interesting when we find out this word here. Say, oh wow, connection. Ishi by, ishi by. That means easy to be entreated. It says ishi, saying ishi, ishi, ishi. It's okay. It's all right. Ishi by meheretna, right? Meheretna mercy, right? And begofre and good fruit, good fruit. Yeah, molabat, it is full in her, in it, in this wisdom, from the Mejameria, without partiality and without hypocrisy, not without acting, without false pretense, acting, gabizinet, hypocrites or actors, not an actor. To complete this chapter and this lesson here on word, sound, and power, we've been wanting to teach on this word, sound, and power. Um, teaching is very important. You know understand because the the keys are in our own hand, or really, you say the keys are in our own mouth. Um, it says yes. salamin. It says, and the fruit of righteousness, right? The fruit of righteousness, our true Christian fruit. The fruit of whether we are just a nominal Christian or nominal Rastafari or Rastafari, or true Christian in spirit and in truth, is sown, right? Is sown in peace. Be salam, in peace, be shalom. Of them, get this, of them that make peace. And here's an interesting phraseology because when Christos, 
the Moshiach Yeshua in the Beatitudes, what's called the Beatitudes, the the Bituan, when he says peacemakers, he's saying um Miyastarku, those who are Taraki, those who are reconcilers. And here in Yaakov, the brother of Adonenu of our Lord, Yaakov, he says right here, he uses peacemakers, right? In the sense of doing those who do salam, right? Those who the people who do salam in peace, right? In salam, they they sow in peace, right? They sow in Yeshua. So it's very important that our word, you understand, know be His word, and that His word be our word. You understand, know so that we might be one and can receive of the blessing and operate in the true kingdom. Of heaven in the true spiritual kingdom you know as many know of this and many of us have to and had to learn of it even learn of it for ourselves and already in Rastafari we have that testimony of it when we speak about word sound and power when the Rastafari talk about the the, 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 the thing that's missing is how to and his majesty says may be full affording all man of store that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets that our oxen may be strong to labor that there be no breaking in nor going out that there be no complaining in our streets happy is that people that is in such a case yea happy is that people whose God, whose Elo, Elohim is Yahweh. Happy is I and I, the Beta Arastafari, whose Abba is Kedamawi Haile Selassie. Yeshua Yitbarek, Sumu Yitbarek. Shalom, Amen, and Amen. You understand the fulfillment of this age, of this world age. We're living in world ages, and this world age is coming.